I'm Claire Lomas and I was paralysed in a horse riding accident 10 years ago now. Before my accident, um, I was really ambitious with my eventing. I just reached the highest level in the sport about 10 months before my accident. So all my dreams and ambitions uh, were coming true really and I wanted to go on from there. Claire was always very sporty, uh, loved horses. Horses were her life. She was very successful, very good rider. So May the 6th in 2007, I went off to Osberton Horse Trials um, and it really was just a misunderstanding between the horse and myself of which direction to go. The wooden track split into two. He clipped his shoulder on the tree, flung me into a tree and when I hit the ground I knew I was paralysed. So I got the phone call that Claire had had an accident so Joyce, my wife and myself went over to Nottingham uh, where we were told complete, no chance of ever walking again. In the early days after my accident, it was really tough and just getting out of bed when you had nothing to get up for was challenging. So I had to rebuild my life and find things I could do again and, and not just think of all the things I couldn't do and that's how I really got back on track. She didn't want to just focus on, on her rehab, but it, it wouldn't be a, a good thing just to focus on the, on the rehab. So she knew she had to do something and, and it was that drive that got her out building her life up again and doing things saw the rewalk suit just on the internet and I thought it would be a brilliant bit of kit to do a big event but really to fundraise and also from a rehab point of view to getting on my feet. I got the suit and entered the London Marathon. I wanted it to raise more funds, raise awareness of spinal injuries. The support I got out there was incredible and the fundraising um, was just absolutely surreal, £220,000 raised. So, um, yeah, it really was quite a special moment for me when I got to that finish line. And, and when we kept going all night, even when she was tired, and she came last. Last year, I did the Simply Health Great North Run, and I think it was the toughest challenge I've ever done. Um, partly due to my training didn't go to plan. When I was offered the place, I thought it was a brilliant five-day head start, but then a month later, I was pregnant and it affected my training. It was seriously demanding. I have no sensation from the chest down, so I can't even feel the ground that I'm standing on. So to trust my legs are there when I can't feel anything is tough. And then every step is an effort. I use it by tilting my pelvis um, and have to get the timing exactly right. So my upper body, the bits that do work, really do have to work hard. Yeah, so she, she had a lot of problems with the challenge. Um, we had to take a trip to a and &E at one time, but despite all these all these problems, her determination just pushed through and, and she wouldn't give up. From all the events I've done and organising events, I've now raised over 600,000, but it won't stop there. I'll keep going. The money raised from Nichols Spinal Injury Foundation is um, going into really exciting research, so in the future it will hopefully help a lot of people paralysed um, to regain sensation and movement. I'm so proud of my money. She's amazing.